Hi guys, this is Shristi here. Today we're going to see how to make geodesic domes. Now I'm going to tell you a bit about who made this and how he or he was inspired. So let's get started. Richard Buckminster Fuller, inventor of the Jurassic Dome was inspired by simple beehives, fishing nets and other networks. Today, there are more than 300,000 geodesic domes around the world. Wow, this is so fascinating. So let's get started. You will need to make materials which are Jellies, I'm using soft jellies, um, two colours of nail polishes, um, you can use markers or colour pencils, cocktail sticks, some a pencil, a pair of scissors and a ruler. I have taken 65 tooth cocktail sticks the nail polishes, the ruler, the pair of scissors and some pencil and paper to start with. You because you will need 35 big toothpicks measured at 60 cent, 6 cm. So I'm just going to measure it. So 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 this is how it should look. And I'm just gonna cut it. I'm going to do the same, but for the smaller one, it is the size is different. It's gonna be 5.4. So, so that's about that. And I'm gonna cut it again. Do this with adult supervision because you might cut your hands or you might poke the toothpick in your eyes and don't do this in front of any children so now because now I'm going to take the red nail polish and I'm going to kind of paint it in the middle let's say like that and I'm gonna Keep it on the paper as a base so that it doesn't get on the beauty on your surface. So I'm going to do this one black. So like that I'm gonna same and let it dry there. So as I said you'll need 30 small ones and 35 big ones. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to come back. I have painted black on the small one so that it's easy to pick. And they are painted red on the big ones so that it's the same reason so that it's easy to pick up. Now let's get into the exciting bit. I have taken 35 pieces of the red ones and 30 pieces of the black ones. First, you're going to take 10 pieces of the red ones. And you're going to build it in the shape of a deca gun, which has 10 sides. You're going to keep the jelly flat because it has to stand. So you're going to do this. Ooh, 
I cannot concentrate with this before my eyes. I have to eat one. <sighs> Finally. Now let's get into the next step. You're going to take the black ones, which are the small ones, and you're going to build them like this, a small triangle. So can you see it? Now I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to use it sideways because it's easier to do it. You have to leave this area and you're going to move on to the, this one. So now I'm going to take the big ones and make triangles again. So with the leftover space. I'm going to use the same technique again so that it's easier. So you're going to... It's okay if it's full, it's just because it's long and... It can't carry that weight. You should actually use these sizes that I'm telling, otherwise it won't work. So the next step is to stick the small ones like this. So you're going to do that. See, now it's standing up because it's having more support. Oh, this reminds me of the pillar supporting the building. Now we're going to take one small one and one big one. And you're going to poke them in like this. And you're going to have one jolly right there and you're going to use the small one and you're going to poke it there for the next one it is a bit different because you're going to leave this one and you're going to move on to the next one which is over here so you're going to repeat this After uh, you finish this step, you, you'll be using the big ones to close them up like this. Don't worry if it's bending, it should, so that it actually comes the shape of a dome because you need to close it. If it's coming up straight, it's going to be a never-ending one. So you're going to repeat this. So this is the triangle that we just made. You're going to close that triangle by sti by fastening this to this. So I'll show you like this. And you're going to repeat this. So in the sides, it should have the shape of a pentagon. So, and there should be five pentagons. So, yeah, let's move on to the next step now. So when you bend these corners together, the shape should be a star shape. So can you see? It's like that. It looks so cool. If it doesn't come like mine, you have done a mistake. If you want to know what mistake it, ha it is, you're going to re-watch the video.
Now you can spot it. So now you're going to take the small sticks and you're going to attach them like this. So from one pentagon to another pentagon. You're going to do this for all of them. After that step, the shape should be a pentagon shape. You should have five sticks remaining. Now you're going to take one of the sticks and put it in one jelly. So, and you're going to keep it in here. So now I'm just going to use this jelly to connect all of them. So there's got to be a lot of pentagons here. And finally we've reached the end of the process. I'm so bewildered this will be so helpful for the future engineers or if you're going to be an architect now let's explore about how this works geodesic domes are extremely rigid like this multiple interlocking triangles from in incredibly strong structures like here so everyone supporting each other to make this dome to deform a triangle you have to compress or stretch the lens of the side which is hard to do as they support each other Thank you for watching this amazing video. Please hit the subscribe and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Bye! See you next time!